Fora TV. Idea Immersion. Visit us at www.fora.tv. You know, this war could have never happened if we had a mainstream media that, like the mainstream media in other countries, let's start with uh, Mexico, Canada, let's talk about you know Britain, France, Germany, Japan, had a left component. Because the critics of the war, people coming from the left, you know, um, we're right 100% on this. And there were people coming out of, uh, there were people on the right, such as Pat Buchanan, who called it correctly. Uh, Pat gets airtime. Um, but we document in both this book and in Weapons of Mass Deception how the mainstream media censored out critics of the war. I think, you know, looking back at U.S. foreign policy, we live in a nation, uh, if you go all the way back to World War II, uh, when the United States uh, kept its military industrial complex uh, going, never switched to a peace economy, uh, began the Cold War, uh, carried that on into you know, any little conflict around the world. Uh, we live in a country where I think the U.S. news media has always done a horrific and lousy job of reporting to the U.S. people on the real effects of U.S. foreign policy. But I think especially after 9-11, we saw how the news media, especially led by Fox, uh, but quickly followed by others, learned you could really make a lot of money on this war. Talk about war profiteering. That's actually what the news media did. They drove up the ratings like crazy. Fox wrapped itself in the flag, began beating the drum for war. Its ratings skyrocketed. And inside the media, that was called the Fox effect. And CNN and MSNBC and everyone else looked at that and said, well, the American people, you know, this is what they want. And we document how newspapers that ran the wrong stories, like maybe showing an injured American, or showing injured civilians or dead civilians were just deluged with uh, email and angry calls because that's undermining the war effort. And of course, everyone, everything was linked to 9-11, 9-11, 9-11. 9-11 um, was used, fear was used, jingoism was used, and it just became a massive echo chamber. Um, unless you were reading the Mother Jones, listening to KPFA, tuning into Democracy Now!, uh, reading in these times, The Progressive. Uh, there you got the information that uh, other people in other countries were getting from within their mainstream media. So I think one thing we can say about the media in the United States is that despite the fantastic and successful PR campaign by the right wing to sell the idea that we have a liberal media, Really, the spectrum here runs pretty much from moderate center to very, very far right, dangerously far right. And uh, why do they do that? Um, well, maybe that should be our ne next book, The Best Media Ever. But that's the reality. <laughs>